Sven, it's a pleasure to have you here with Maritime Innovations. Great that you take some time for this interview. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure, Johan. Thanks for having me. Sven, ScanReach has been transforming maritime connectivity for a decade now and with your onboard wireless connectivity technology. So for, for those in our audience who might not be so familiar with your solutions, could you briefly describe what uh, ScanRidge offers and how it is changing vessel operations? So in brief, um, I don't want to go too much into the technical details, but we do provide an edge server, a mesh network nodes that talk to one another and transfer data to the edge server, and any type of sensor that is needed to solve a use case. So, for instance, we provide Connect POB as a service where we're tracking crew members on board of the ship. We provide Connect Fuel service where we're delivering fuel monitoring services and fuel data to an end user. Um, we also deliver cargo data or fire and any type of event data. All of this ends up at an edge server and we do provide the data points, the dashboards that go along with it. With wireless connectivity becoming more common in maritime, what specific technological advantages does ScanRage uh, OWC maintain or um, over emerging competitors, particularly in challenging steel environments? Our solution is very, very unique in the industry. Um, usually when you go wireless on board of a vessel, which is a complex steel environment, you have to deal with a lot of challenges with either reflections or any type of interference. Um, our technology has been purpose-built for the maritime industry to connect to sensors or people and any type of asset on board of the ship. So in that sense, it's highly unique. No other technology has been built for this so far. As ScanRage celebrates its 10th anniversary, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, which is your uh, primary focus for the next phase of growth? Is it expanding into new vessel types like offshore wind, developing new applications? of your core technology or is it a geographic expansion? I think it's a, it has a lot to do with how digitization in the industry is changing and I feel we've now entered a new phase in digitization. The first phase was more focused on grabbing all the data and a lot of the big com corporate players were involved in that. But it didn't necessarily lead to the desired solution So because it was very much vendor and ecosystem driven. Um, with ScanReach and similar solutions, um, although something like we do doesn't exist in the market, um, we now enter a phase where application and infrastructure can be viewed separately. So we deliver an infrastructure that is sensor agnostic and equipment agnostic, but also platform agnostic. So we can support all the vessel performance optimization platforms, analytics platforms, preventative uh, monitoring uh, uh, platforms that are needed in the industry. We don't, we don't mind where the data is being consumed. And that is a very unique approach. I think that's how the industry is changing, becoming more agnostic, because it is, at the end of the day, a highly fragmented industry with many players, many shipyards, many shipping companies around the globe. And handling that complexity can only be done with an agnostic approach. And I think that's been shown in other industries as well. Your Connect POB solution has established strong market presence for safety applications. What operational efficiency use cases are you seeing customers adopt that might drive your next wave of growth? So currently, um, the biggest drivers, particularly in offshore and the wind energy market, are around POB as a safety application. So this is gangway monitoring, gangway operations, mustering operations, distress alerts. But we are essentially the only company that can contextualize human behavior and human location with machine data on board of the vessel. And uh, that will trigger new use cases moving forward. We're now in a phase where decarbonization plays a very critical role. And a lot of companies here at Nor Shipping um, are focused on that uh, for all the right reasons, of course. But there's only so much you can do in terms of decarbonization efforts. And the next step is actually crew and crew well-being and crew behavior. And unfortunately, we're going to have less and less crew members on board of larger and larger vessels. And uh, what we do, we can contextualize their presence on board of the vessel with the technology they have to use in their daily environments. Where they are, 
what they're using and how they interact with it. And I believe that's going to be our journey for the next years to come to support the edge platforms, whether they are class society driven or vendor driven, and to support vessel operations with um, uh, quality data. How are you evolving maritime regulations around safety and emission monitoring, influencing your product roadmap, uh, particularly for your new offerings like explosion proof notes? So essentially, we, we are following the demand of the industry. And we started out, as you rightly point out, 10 years ago as, as, as a tech company. It took a while to actually take the technology to the market. Um, because it is very complex technology at the end of the day. Um, and we started out with Connect POB as a, as a critical solution for oil and gas, offshore, wind sector. Um, due to the decarbonization drive, we started to move into fuel because we could see that more and more software companies are in need of quality data on board of the ship. So that's a gradual progression there. And having worked with several companies and also some accelerators in the industry, we could see that fire uh, and safety monitoring becomes more important. So we're not necessarily following regulatory drivers, but market drivers to see where are the pain points in the industry, what is it that ship owners and shipping companies demand from their suppliers. That's where we step in. What unique challenges have you encountered in adapting your maritime technology for the offshore wind sector? I'm not so sure whether it's specifically the offshore wind sector, that's the question here. It's, uh, it is when you are positioning innovation in the industry, and, and the industry is open to innovation. We can see it here at North Shipping, there's so many startups around that showcase brilliant technology. Um, and we combine this technology with knowledge from the industry. Most of our team members have been in the industry for decades, so that's a good combo. But the main challenge is that our solution and our technology is so unique that it is difficult to compare to anything out there. You might compare it to cabling, you might compare it to Wi-Fi, you might want to compare it to pen and paper. But essentially it's very, very difficult for an organization to compare such an innovation to any other technology or an established technology provider out there. And, uh, That's an adoption challenge, and I think we're addressing that quite well um, by being present in interviews like yours here, so thank you very much, uh, but also by being present at, at trade shows and talking to the users on board of the ship um, and talking to the shipping companies out there as to where their challenges lie. Are you moving toward becoming more of an open platform for third-party integration or maintaining a proprietary ecosystem? So we are going to continue to be an open platform. It's in our core, it's in our DNA. And I believe that that strategic positioning is really important to change innovation in the industry. The first generation I spoke uh, about earlier was very much vendor and ecosystem driven. And there's one challenge with an ecosystem, you can't escape it. So what we're proposing here is to um, separate and segregate application from infrastructure And we provide an infrastructure that, it's, that is essentially agnostic at both ends. That's going to continue to be our drive, which allows us also to team up with any company in the industry and deliver value to any shipping company. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Sven, for sharing these valuable insights about ScanReach's innovative approach to maritime connectivity. I think your work is bringing wireless solutions to challenging steel environment is clearly making vessels safer and more efficient. So I appreciate very much that you took some time to speak to us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Jan. It's been a pleasure. Thanks.